be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. While you're at it, go ahead and uh, go to TheGrizzlyGentleman.com and do the same for, once again, 10% off at checkout. Both of them are fantastic deals and they help support the show. What is up, Planeswalkers? Theric 6, back with some more match the gather arena uh today uh we're, we're gonna be playing nickel bolus uh because technically yesterday i was supposed to play bolus and i didn't because i'm stupid and bad uh i've made very slight changes to the deck um a couple of people did suggest uh essentially running a couple of legion war bosses in for the uh mono white or the the, the azorius base control decks so we're gonna we're gonna try and do some of that ahead of the games today's bonus video uh is going to be Something you've already seen by now, because of the way I do my bonus videos. It's going to be me opening this. Uh, I'm currently still, like, figuring out how to send the first giveaway winner their card, because it's uh, international. I, I might have to not do international anymore, <laughs> because it's proving to be quite the hassle. Um, but yeah, so once once I figured that out, uh, and then open this, I'll be doing more giveaways from the Akoria booster box, as well as from the Mystery booster box. So... We are, uh, we're currently waiting for the game to start, but let's take a crack at some questions over on the Discord server, because we've been doing a lot of a lot of uh, content that hasn't really worked out for questions, so we're going to hop into some questions here. Um, T -heck, T -heck K1 uh, asks, do you still take MTGA deck submissions, and if, if so, where should they be submitted? Uh, technically, I do. The reason I say technically is because... It's very hard to get to. Okay, it's very hard to get to the amount of deck uh, submissions that people want to see, um, and it's even. Sh I'll keep it. It's even harder when um, there are just like subtle variations on themes that I've already done. So, um, for example, someone had recently asked for me to do a. Oh, that's a great draw. Someone recently asked me to do a build using um, Frondlin Felidar, and um, I'll graveyard this one. Sure, whatever. Uh, Frondlin Felidar, as well as um, Verity Circle, um, commented on that. That was commented on my um, Vigilance Tribal deck. And the issue is that I essentially had already played a Frontland Felidar. Are you playing counter spells in your Grixis control deck? No. Cool. So even if Bolus gets killed here, it's going to be a two for one ritual, so it makes sense to get rid of. Uh, so, like, even though for what it's worth, I don't think I would be able to build a deck sufficient to actually make that strategy work. Um, I'm also not likely to be playing a, a deck kind of centered around Frontland Felidar soon. Uh, we're going to graveyard the shit out of that. We're going to... We're just going to play the swamp here. Um, if my opponent attempts to discard me, I will likely just cycle the Shark Typhoon. Um, otherwise, next turn I can just cast it. So my opponent here could play Big Nicky B. It looks like that's what they're going to do. I suspect that they're going to kill this Nicky B. Yeah. In suffer for your so that's five, six. So theoretically, I will be able to flip my Ascanta. But I am going to go ahead and do this because I want to be able to immediately kill that Nikki B. It does mean that I'm going to get less value over the course of the game. But with Search Rescanta, yeah, with Search Rescanta, it should be fine. And like the Thought Ranger is nice. No, the Thought Ranger, the Thought Ranger has to stay. Um, very many things would be uh, graveyarded here, but the Thought Ranger is just generally speaking too good. Um, so yeah, we get to take their own Shark Typhoon. Um, we probably honestly put Shark, or we put the other Thought Ranger in the bin. Because whatever they get, they should be able to cast anyway. I guess if they top deck another Shark Typhoon exactly, then they won't be able to do it, but... I'm not too terribly worried about it. So we're going to yeet Bolus out of the world. I have other plans. I'm going to play this tapped. Of course, this does mean that if I had just chucked my Thought Erasure into the bin, I would have top decked another Thought Erasure, but that's not a risk I wanted to make. Um, right, so technically, 
if you're a patron, you have a specific um, server or a specific channel on my Discord server where you can talk to me uh, a lot easier um, because there are a lot of a lot of places on my Discord server. Um, for example, like the card creation, I have muted. So if you want if you want me to see a, a, a card that you've created, um, you'd have to at me. But I, I don't have my my patron section muted. Because you always have access to me. So theoretically, if you're if you're a patron, and this is something that not many patrons take advantage of, but you can easily just be like, hey, I'd like you to play this deck. Um, and that's like the easiest way. Now, obviously, that that requires like being a patron and stuff. Um, but give me one sec. The graveyard transform. Um, we could get a four drop non-creature here. I don't think there are really any that I care about, so we're just going to pass. And we can Vrest Contempt something. And if they have a Bolus, then we can just uh, get rid exile the Cryve Canarium in our hand, so... We're doing alright. Um, but if you, if you aren't a patron, you can still um, ask about me doing uh, decks. The easiest thing, though, is deck ideas aren't something that I can really do because they require um, a lot more work on my end to make the deck like actually work. But if you have like a, an actual deck together, even if it's not like fully completed or whatever, and you're like, this is what I have currently, you know, you have more experience with the game, so you, you, you can make changes, um, then either on my Discord channel or just um, in, uh, in the comment section, you can feel free to post um, Aetherhub deck lists. Uh, and the reason I say Aetherhub deck lists is because they're they're just the easiest for me to grok. Um, I can import and export from them very easily. Um, I can copy them to my Aetherhub accounts. Yeah, okay. Shark Typhoon, sure. Cool. I have my own Shark Typhoon. I could Angrath and hold up Bedevil. But I think I would rather just play Shark Typhoon. I can hold up Heartless Act to kill. That doesn't do what you want it to, because that triggers first. Have fun. Okay, now we'll Angrath. We get a Shark. Plus... Whatever is in their hands. Monsters. Sure, that's fine. No fire, no steel. Okay. Um, but yeah, if if you have a an Aether Hub uh, deck list, then and I'm fine eating eating this on my Angrath. Ah, yeah, that's fine. Um, and frankly, I would rather just. There we go. No fire, no steel. Gods once, I am one again. Why would you not get rid of one of your extra lands? You eons ago. Doesn't make any sense to me, but okay. Um, yeah. If, if you if you have a, a deck. Essentially, like, already fleshed out. Um, I'm not going to show them most of the things. Uh, then... Actually, I think I'm just going to... Okay, cool. Uh, then you feel free to post it in comments. Um, whether or not I'll actually get to playing that deck, you know, that's that's a completely different story, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, remorse. Throw in some of those. Do I want Misco Disputes? Sure. Um, Cryo Canarium is a no. Ritual Soot takes care of all of the Sharks. I think I want to drop Heartless Axe. And I think I'm going to drop one Ritual. And one extinction. 
So I do only have one extinction left if sharks get out of hand, but if sharks get out of hand, a single ritual isn't really going to be the end-all be-all, I don't think. I like this hand. Uh, it allows me to do this to protect things, then turn three, do this, and potentially follow it up with some nonsense. And I'm going to shock for mystical dispute. Because two life should not matter all that much. Duress. Well, fuck. <laughs> and they take they take big bolus. Very interesting. So my opponent has information on essentially all of my hand except for this card. And theoretically, it's better for me to play Steam Vents if my opponent knew nothing, right? Because then I'm still holding a mystical dispute. I don't have to deal with life uh, at the end of the game. But two factors make it so I don't want to play Steam Vents here. One, my life total is not going to matter all that much until about 10, right? And two, I don't want my opponent to have perfect information. They already have really good information, so I'm not going to give them perfect information. Okay, and they, and they pass. I'm going to get... I'm going to have another um, mystical dispute, which is fantastic. So I can win a counter war potentially. And then next turn, I can play Legion War Boss and hold up a Mystical Dispute. Well, fuck you. We don't counter this here, because um, it would take up the mana anyway. So now they know about Steam Vents, but we're still just going to Legion War Boss and hold up Mystical Dispute. Now, obviously, my War Boss could die. And it looks like it might with a Heartless Act. Did it work? They were playing Grixis, right? Yeah, they, they played Nicol Bolas. Yeah, okay, so War Boss is going to bite the dust. Unless they use Tyrant Scorn. Okay, so they don't have anything for it. They could have Ritual of Soot, which would be fine with me, because they would have to tap out for Ritual of Soot. I get to play my Bolas and still shock in so I can hold this up. So they do Tyrant Scorn after the fact. Um, I have a 1-1 one, one beater. Why didn't they do that? I don't know why they didn't do that beforehand. Um, but I'm going to let this resolve, right? I don't want them to cast any, like, big blue card. You know, a Shark Typhoon, uh, they top deck a, a Red Source or something for Bulls. I don't want that to happen. Um, so here, I'm going to shock in with this. Technically, I should have attacked first, for what it's worth. Uh, but I'm going to attack. My opponent knows about this already, so it's probably fine. We're going to cast it. Now, one of the unfortunate things is that we are running low on on actual spells. Okay, they go to Heartless Act, so I assume that they have some sort of removal. Murder's Rider, sure. And now they can play this Murder's Rider, and I can't actually get in with this. They're going to dress, get rid of my last dispute. Alright, so now we're both in top deck mode, essentially. But my top deck was quite nice. Um, now, if they have a mystical dispute, it would be nuts. No. Fantastic. Um, I don't like deploying my bolus first. Cool. Uh, because then if they deploy their bolus, their bolus wins. Because they get to kill my bolus. And I won't have a bolus to kill theirs. Uh, yeah, so... Cool. We, we still won. That was, that was good. It's pretty good. I have painted my nails. They're blue. I'm not very proud of the job I did, so I'm not going to show it close to the camera, but they are blue. Hey, look. Bot match. But I didn't immediately go into it because I did a little trick. Cool. Let's see. Next question by Sin Pyro. What inspired me to become a content creator? Technically nothing. Um, I was in... A lot of bolus avatars today. Uh, I was in the closed beta during the NDA times. And uh, I, I was just playing it constantly. This hand... <sighs> so close. <sighs> I'm going to keep this because I'm assuming that my opponent is also on uh, Grixis control. If they've psyched me out, solid. But uh, I can I can afford to be a little slow in this matchup. I think 
didn't want to be this slow, but still, I had nothing to play anyway, so it's fine. They might thought race me. Nope, Discovery. Okay, they're on this version. Why is Grixis Control seeing play right now? Is it the flavor of the week? I just want everyone to know I've been playing Grixis Control since fucking close beta, so... Speaking of close beta, um... I've been playing since the NDA. Uh, as soon as the NDA released, you know, I realized I'm playing this game every day. Interesting. They're playing... They're playing that. I will shock myself here to potentially bedevil, um, like a Thief of Sanity or something. They're playing the Fae of Wishes version, even though Fire's Invention is no longer legal. That's interesting. So their sideboard must not be very good. So next time I can play Nikki B. Uh, I could potentially Shark Typhoon here if I really need to. If my opponent plays four mana Bolas, then I drop Cry, Bedevil it. Actually, I don't even Bedevil it. No, I think I just drop Cry and Bolas it. Once again, I'm not a fan of playing playing a, my Bolas first. But this does leave my Bedevil. And so currently it's not actually a, a two for one for them. Uh, it's like a one for 1.5 for them. But yeah, see, now there's a Nikki B. I'm going to bedevil this. Yeah, I want, I want to be able to get my Shark Typhoon down. But I think I want to bedevil that a little bit more. Because I can lose another Cry the Canarium, but I, I don't know if I can... Shit! I'm gonna let the Shark Typhoon go. Um, I could draw into a better card. I'm probably just gonna draw land, but... Uh, yeah. But, yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, if I played Shark Typhoon... Oh, okay, cool. If I played Shark Typhoon, um, I would have not been able to kill Bolas, because they would have made me discard my... Uh, my Typhoon. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and... We're actually going to Cry the Canarium first, I think. So I can get a Shark. And then we'll Thought Erase. I did it in this order. Um, because I wanted to get that sh extra Shark anyway. And if I did the other order, my Thought Erase Shark would die. Okay. Um, so yeah, so essentially I was just like, I was like, hey, yeah, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing this, I might as well, you know, <laughs> I might as well get OBS. And I've been using OBS ever since, uh, and I've not had issues, really. Um, uh, but, so the, I didn't have anything that inspired me to become a content creator, but what inspired me to, like, maintain and, and try and get better and better is Merchant. Uh, Merchant commented, and I've told the story a billion times, but uh, he commented at some point, uh, on one of my earlier videos saying that he thought I was, I was, I made good stuff, and the fact that I'm still making stuff, and the fact that I still, like, play D&D &D with Merchant and stuff, uh, it shows that he meant it, so, uh, you all have Merchant to thank for, for my, uh, continuation of making content. Uh, so I didn't bring in Unmoored Ego last Bo Grix's Bolus Mirror, uh, but I don't know if that's necessarily what I should be doing, um, so, once again, I think I can kind of just get rid of a lot of this stuff. Because, yes, obviously they do have access to 4 mana bolus, but I have target removal anyway. Um, yeah, once again, I, I don't think Unmoored Ego on the, on the draw, at least, is good. Maybe uh, in game 3, if I lose this one, uh, I can do it, but otherwise... Uh, yes. <laughs> Peter the Noob asked me a personal question, but it's fine. Uh, do you call your mom regularly or any of your relatives? No! <laughs> and I don't mean that, like, derisively. I just don't. Like, I, that's just not the type of person I am. I'm relatively, like, aloof. Um, yeah, I've, I've always kind of been that, that individual uh, type person, uh, a loner, if you will. Um, you know, I have friends, but I would say that I have two best friends. Um a group of maybe 10 
regular friends. Um, uh, nope, this is a this is a hard no for me. I'll keep this and not be happy about it. I really need to be able to thought erase, but I am very worried that I won't be able to. Um, even with the agonizing remorse, the the taking a card from their hand isn't what I want for my thought erasure. Interesting. So I got another land, which means I'm actually not going to thought erase here, because my opponent might have also brought in mystical disputes, and if they had. I would completely lose out on my ability to use Thought Erasure. They hadn't. Okay. So they have Ingress Rampage. I don't think I care about that. Kefnet can eat one of those. Um, they can play Narset next turn, so I have to take Narset here. Uh, next turn, I probably eat four mana bolus. Thought Erase. Top deck Thought Erasure. Yeah, so I can't eat their four mana bolus. You, you take Thought Erasure every time here. Yeah. So we're going to go on Temple. We're going to... Keep that on top, I think. Next time we play Kefnet. Uh, yeah, because we're going to discard the, the Water Grave. Yeah. So they're going to play this. Next turn I play Kefnet. The following turn I either cycle Shark Typhoon or... Yeah, they, they were able to top deck the land as well. So, definitely unfortunate. Gonna go and yeet this watery grave. Um, they're going to... So I, I have to hope they don't get another lucky top deck on land. Uh, Angrath's Rampage is fine. But land into uh, Dragon God is not. Yeah, okay. It's okay. He'll be back. Uh, now, I would like to get a lucky top deck on my Ashok's Nightmare. Or Ashok Nightmare Muse. Right, and you could say, well, why don't you just discard Shark Typhoon? Uh, you're probably correct. I, I think I should have discarded the Shark Typhoon, knowing the line of play that they were likely to do. That was absolutely a misplay on my part. Um, we are going to be able to, at the very least, get rid of their Dragon God. Okay, so I have Sabotage. Unfortunate. Um, especially considering this is going to get Sabotaged. And I know I'm not going to get lands for two turns. Okay, so this game might be unfortunately over before it has even begun. Maybe I don't just play Bolas. Maybe instead, I hold back, Shark Typhoon at instant speed. Yeah. Uh, I, it's not a perfect play, but it's kind of what I have to do. Uh, and I think, I think I have to take this. Because if my opponent... Okay, so my opponent didn't actually. But if they... If they had a land and then was able to play this, then I would have been frustrated. So unfortunately, we're not in the best place. We're still not dead, though. Um, I think I'm going to cast Kefnet here. It's absolutely going to get countered. Yep. Where do they put the card? Okay, so this is almost certainly going to be a land. Uh, or I guess it could be removal. Block. That is game, unfortunately. To my will. Damn. That that um that land discard there was uh, absolutely incorrect. Uh, that single turn faltering. Um, I do believe is what lost me the game there. And some might say, like, why don't I, why don't I keep in uh, more Heartless Axe? I don't necessarily think that's the correct thing to do. Um, 
I did. I thought about Unmore Ego, but I think the deck is just so generally threat dense that it isn't worth me trying to bring in Unmore Ego. Yeah, I still think this is correct. Right, back onto the, the question. Um, that said, you know, I still talk to my family de temps en temps, but... Sure. We could get turn one to rest, but it's fine, I suppose. Nope. So the question is, do I thought a race now? Or do I play a water or grave tapped? Hold them up mystical dispute. And then the following turn, play Dragon Skull Summit, Daughter Race, Mystical Dispute. I think. I'm going to go this route. It might pay off, might not pay off. Because if they have a duress here, it doesn't pay off. Discovery is fine. Maybe they're looking for lands, and it's correct to uh, counter discovery. I don't think generally that that's the case. Let's raise some thoughts. Cancel. Don't ever do some shit like that again. Farika's libation is very interesting. Um, but I definitely don't care about Farika's libation. I don't know if I'm going to care about Command the Dreadhorde either. Um, I think I want to hit Bedevil. Because I can counter Bolus. We keep that. And the reason we kept that is so that we can go to turn 6 with Ashiok holding up Miss Goodness Pew. Because my opponent might not want to play their Nicol Bolas here. They can. And if I... Yeah, they, they didn't play this, so... I don't know why they didn't play Steam Vents last turn. Very interesting. I may need to be able to counter Command the Dread Horde. I'm gonna play Ashiok here. Yeah, he doesn't have mana for Sinister Sabotage, which is something that I, I did make sure I noted. It's an instant. It is an instant. That's fine if they use Frex, uh, Fruka's Libation on that. Yeah, I'm absolutely fine with that. So now I assume you're going to... I'm going to use that, Nikki B. And this is why I saved this one. Black, 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 red. Fantastic. So I... No, this has to die this turn. So I can only counter something that is blue, unfortunately. So, theoretically, they can um, command the Dread Horde if they have the mana for it. But it doesn't necessarily look like that's going to happen. Hopefully. Like, I feel like they would have just slammed it.
discovery. Okay. That is fine. They're looking for something. Maybe another land. No, not another lands. What are you looking for then? Murder Shrider? To kill my boss? I don't know. I don't know. Narsets. It's interesting. Okay. That's nice, but we're going to thought erase. Um, there's a re there's an argument to be made to thought erase first, because like, I get to, I get to potentially surveil. So I th I'm gonna I'm gonna thought erase first. I don't know why it would want me to do that, like ever. And we take we take Commander Jet Horde. Uh, we keep the Shark Typhoon. Shark Ty Typhoon is gonna be great. Plus. They have to exile something. Uh, I suspect it's going to be four mana bolus. Because what they can do is they can play Sharon. Minus two to kill my bolus. They'll be at four. Um, yeah. Then I can minus four my, my Sharon. Never in order to kill theirs. So I suspect, yep, Sharon. Here we go. I do think that Sharon... Like, there's no reason Sharon doesn't kill Nikki B here. Yeah. Okay. So that's fine. The question is, do I want to cycle Shark Typhoon or not? I think the answer is no. I think I want to cast this at some point. So here I'm going to Sharon... Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. I do unfortunately have to no, minus lower. Um, now the question is, do I do I want to keep a swamp in my hand? Um, is there a reason for me to keep a swamp in my hand? Uh, Nicobolus means that I haven't seen Ashok from this person, I don't think. But Nicobolus, I can exile from the field anyway. I haven't seen Ashok from it. So I think I'm going to get it like this. And if they bounce my Chandra, I exile this, play Chandra again, kill their Ashiok. So I think I'm okay playing that. And I'm curious what my opponent has here. I have to like watch the graveyards to see if they have another Command the Dreadhorde. It's going to be a very bolus -y video. Fae of Wishes getting something. Tap poorly so now they don't have a blue source. But I'm very interested in why you're still playing Fave Wishes. I guess Angrath Rampage. Yeah, so they can Fave Wishes for an Angrath Rampage to force me to sack my Sharon. They take Unmoored Ego. Do you Unmoored Ego for Shark Typhoon? I wouldn't be surprised. Nope, Nikki be the Ravagee. So, the... yeah, th I'm, I'm fine with that. Um... I can see where they're coming from with Ravager. Like, Ravager gets to, to flip and do all sorts of nonsense. Um, but yeah, I get to just play Shark Typhoon here. Plus my Sharon. And... No pressure. I will just play this. I still think it's fine. Because they're, they're a wave from being able to do stuff like that. That's unfortunate. I, I forgot that's, that's one of the reasons I should have not done that. Well, shit. Yeah, damn, I, I messed up. I absolutely messed up. I have to minus four to kill this, or else they can flip it, and I can't really deal with a flip version, so. Yeah, I, um, I wouldn't had, I wouldn't had needed to do this if I kept that land. Um, that is, that is a misplay that I am hoping, and I'm actually going to keep the Swamp in hands, because if they happen to run an Ashiok, I, I need to be able to exile this instead. Luckily, I do have time to find more stuff. But if I'm going to keep drawing lands, it's not going to be great. Because my opponent has more chances to draw more Fave Wishes, more of their own Planeswalkers. Oh, come on, deck. Don't do me like this. Yeah, that, that one mistake may have cost me the game. Oh, 
Are you serious? Dude. Really? Bring the bouncer fave wishes, find something else. Fuck. <sighs> I will remake the multiverse in my image. You have no weakness I cannot explain. Yeah, so they're, they're specifically... <sighs> that one play. Damn it. Yeah, I should have kept the card, the land in hand. I mean, obviously flooding out didn't help me any, but uh, if I had kept that land in hand, I would have kept my Vrasis Contempt. I would have been able to contempt the... Um, their Nicol Bolas, instead of having to use my Chandra, Chandra would be able to plus up several times, making their death faster. Um, I would have also had a 4-4 Shark for my Shark Typhoon. That, I, I am incensed <laughs> about how bad that play was. And I got, I got bit in the end. I mean, the thing is, right, like, they also got super lucky. And I'm not, you know, I'm not discounting. Like, my play was objectively bad. It was the wrong play on pretty much every level. There was nothing else in my deck that I needed that extra mana on, on the field for. Um, I was in top deck mode anyway. There was no reason for me to play that land. I want to make that super clear. In that situation, I should not have, under any circumstances, essentially, had played that land. I was thinking about Ashok, but for whatever reason, I was tunnel visioning on the fact that we were both playing Bolas control decks. Um... That said, they were very lucky in the fact that they immediately got the card to punish me. Um, they, they immediately got Nicol Bolas. I had the answer in my hands, and it was gone. Um, but yeah, that, that game would have went incredibly differently if uh, if I hadn't lost that Vrasic attempt. Because yeah, I had the 4-4 Shark, um, I would have been able to plus Chandra again. At that point, my opponent wouldn't have been able to bounce the Fave, which is back to hand. For what it's worth, it is possible that they they had some sort of other way to kill Chandra. But as long as my Chandra lived for a single turn, and I they were on a, uh, a counterspell there, 100%, um, I could have then killed their Fae of Wishes with my Chandra, um, still had my 4-4 Shark, because unless, unless I had a kill spell for that and Chandra, um, I would have had stuff. So I would have been able to put a, a faster clock not only with the Chandra plus twos, but also with the Shark. Overall, an absolute disaster of a... Of a misplay there. And, uh, I mean, that, that's just the type of thing that uh, I want to make sure all of you are aware of. If you do not need to play a land, in many circumstances, you really do need to evaluate whether or not you want to put that land on the battlefield. I had no reason to play that extra land. Um, if I had top deck a Shark Typhoon, I would have likely just cast another Shark Typhoon. Because it, one, would have still gotten me the trigger, even if it got countered. And two, if it didn't get countered, would have been better for me in the long run than just, you know, cycling through another card. And plus, I would have probably cycled it for maximum anyway. So it's not like I needed that one additional value. And I didn't need that land to cast two spells in a single turn, because as I said earlier, I was in top tech mode. So um, that, that's definitely something I need to learn from. Um, I'm very curious as to why, why this was two Grix control... Uh, mirrors in a row. That's very interesting. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, I've been on the Grixis for a long time. Uh, these are newcomers to Nicobolus's realms. Uh, I don't care that I, lo I I lost that last that last match. The the first game I lost, I think, was a normal. I, I just lost. Uh, but that that last game, I lost that. Like my opponent didn't win. I lost it. Um, it, it really was. A terrible misplay, followed by some decent luck, followed by just getting dicked by my lands. But yeah, I it still, it, I still have fun playing Bolas. If you would uh, like to join my lovely patrons, whom I thank very much for the continued support, you'll find links to that down in the description. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, go and tap that like button, add subscription, share mana pool, cast a comment in the comment section down below, pass the turn of the video to some of your friends, and of course, until next time, all will be one.